Hi there. Uh, so today we're going to talk about what the equation of a circle that's centered at the origin looks like. Okay? So basically what we're talking about is if we have a grid, right? So our x, y axis. And if we want to make a circle centered at the origin, what would the equation of this curve right here look like? Okay? So here's a picture, right? There's our circle, here's our x and y axis, right? Now, I want you guys to notice that it doesn't matter where uh, we put this radius, right? The radius should always be the same length, right? Because it's the radius of a circle, right? So what is the length of this radius? Well, if we look at this line, for example, we know how to do the length of a line segment, right? So if we just look at the horizontal and the vertical part, right, we can see that this line segment is at 3, 4. Right? So that means we can find the length of that line segment by saying that it's actually... So if that's the radius of the circle, we can say that the radius is length is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. Right? Well, if I look at the point here, we can say that the radius is the square root of 4 squared. Oh, sorry, 4 squared plus, and then this is negative 3 squared. All right? So here the radius ends up being the square root of 25, which is 5. Here it ends up being the square root of uh, 16 plus 9, which is 25 again. So 5. So the radius always seems to be 5. All right? So whether we looked at this point or this point, or really we could look at this point, or this point, or any point on the circle, and we could do this calculation, and we should come up with the answer 5. All right, so that means that this circle in particular shows us that the radius is the square root of any x value squared plus any y value squared. All right? Okay, so that means that what we've done is we've actually defined the equation of a circle. And it says that the radius is always the square root of the x-coordinate squared plus the y-coordinate squared. Now, we don't, we don't like to have square roots in our equation, so that means that the equation of a circle is always going to be r squared. We're going to square both sides, and that'll be x squared plus y squared. Okay? So again, here, any point that we took on the circle would have produced the answer 5, because that's the radius of the circle, right? So if I took the x-coordinate squared plus the y-coordinate squared, square root, I get the answer 5. So that gives us our equation, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So how do we use that? Well, if I want to write the equation, of uh, the equation of a circle with radius 8, well, I know that every circle looks like r squared is x squared plus y squared. So x and y should be in my equation because those are the two variables, but the radius I know. So a squared is that. So that means 64 is x squared plus y squared. There is the equation of a circle with radius 8. Okay? If I want to write the equation of a circle centered at 0, 0 that passes through the point 2, 3. Okay? Well, again, let's start with x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Do I know the radius in this case? No, but I can find it because I know that this point fits on that circle. So that means that 2 squared plus 3 squared has to be r squared. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. So that's r squared. So that means r squared is equal to 13. Well, if we look back here, the equation of a circle always looks like this. So that means that we're talking about x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, which is 13. That's the equation 
of the circle that passes through the point 2, 3. Okay? Okay, so let's look at one more example. So there's a circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. Is the point 5, 4 inside the circle, outside the circle, or on the circle? Okay, so what this means is there's a circle, right? Equation is this, and then there's a point 5, 4 somewhere. It could be here, it could be right on the circle, or it could be outside the circle, right? So that's what we're asking. Is it in, on, or outside the circle? Well, we actually know what the radius of this circle is, right? Because we know that x squared plus y squared is r squared. So we know that 49 is our r squared. Well, that means that r is the square root of 49, which is 7, right? So we know that this distance here is 7, and that distance is 7, right? So all we have to find out is, is this point more or less than 7 units away from the origin? Right? So if it's less than 7 units from the origin, it's in the circle. If it's more than 7 units from the origin, it's outside the circle. If it's exactly 7 units from the origin, then it is outside the circle. Okay? So let's find the distance from the point 5, 4 to the origin. Okay? Well, we know that the distance is the square root of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. So this is the square root of 25 plus 16. And the square root of 41 would have to be 6.4. Right? Well, this is less than 7, right? So this length is 7. The length from the point to the origin is less than 7. So this puts that point inside the circle. Okay? So there's how we work with the equation for a circle. All right, so uh, that's that. See you guys tomorrow.